Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to calculate cumulative total or running total for over years and months in Power BI. So let's get started. I have a sample data set over here wherein I have order date and total unit sold. We're trying to calculate the cumulative sum on total units sold in this particular scenario, right? So to get started, the first thing that you would want here is to you want to create a cal you should create a calendar table. Right now, I have another tutorial on my channel wherein I'm teaching you how to create a calendar table. All you have to do is you need to copy this particular code and then go to your modeling and click on new table and paste this particular code over here. Now, in this code over here, you will see that we have keyed in, we have hard coded the dates over here. However, there's another way here wherein you can select the dates from your fact table. For example, I've used the variable here to identify minimum date and maximum date and I have passed the same here in the calendar table. You can use the same uh, way of using the minimum and maximum date to get started with your calendar table. So once you have your calendar table created, we need to go to the uh, model over here and create a relationship between the calendar table and the uh, fact table here. So I'm going to join here the date here with this particular date. Okay. Now you will have to make one change here in the calendar table. You need to click on date over here and select the date format over here so that we don't get the time we only get the date and now we can get started with our measure to calculate the cumulative total so i'm going to click here click on new measure and type in cumulative total is equals to i'm going to use the calculate function here so i have created a measure here which is called as total units sold this is basically sum of my unit sold column so i'm going to pass the same measure here in my cumulative total so i'm going to say calculate total units sold comma and then I'm going to say filter all selected I'm going to pass the calendar table here comma and then I'm going to say date from my calendar table okay is less than equals to max of my calendar date from the calendar table okay I'm going to close the bracket and press enter and now let's pull in this cumulative total in the table over here and we will see that what's happening is the dates the values are still the same for both the columns over here so one change that we will have to make here is instead of using the date here from the fact table we need to use the date from the calendar table so i'm going to pull in date from over here and change this to date instead of the hierarchy so once we have that now you will see that our cumulative total has started showing to display here. So if you see here, 245 and 117 is 362, 695. So we see that our cumulative total has started working, right? Now let us chain, add a table here and bring in year and month, okay? So we'll add a new table. We will have year, we will have a uh, month. And let us filter here to only display, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, 2020 and 21 so that we don't get a lot of data. I'm going to delete this particular table over here. And then I'm going to bring in my uh, cumulative total. Okay. And you can change this to a matrix for better visualization. Okay. And put in month here and you can put in year over here or maybe uh, add in a category. Let's say maybe item type and bring in month as well below the uh, year over here. Okay. So now you also get the drill down function here. You can say expand to next level so that you will start seeing the months. And this is the cumulative total that you are seeing here. You can also add in a slicer. For example, let's say you want a slicer for year. Let's say you want a list and let's say you want only for 2020. Okay. So now we are seeing only 2020 uh, sales data or the unit sold data, unit sold data. And it is only beginning from April of 2020 and then it is accumulating. Right. So you can add multiple years into this as well. You can do control select and add in multiple uh, years of data as well. You will see that 2021, we have data from April, August and all of that, right? So 
That's about it in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.